Tino Livramento, Saints fans are wondering whether surgery is going to be required and how long you might be out for. Can you say anything more about uh, Livramento and surgery right now? Um, no. Um, we are looking from day to day. The, um, the first um, steps in, in training now have shown no reaction from the knee. This is good. No new fluid. And uh, that gives us a little bit of hope. But uh, yeah, still not not uh, in the team training. So we will we will we will have a look from day to day. Obviously, no uh, right back then for Brentford tomorrow night. No Walker Peters. No Jan Valery. Is, is James Ward Prowse ready to step in there again? <laughs> we will find a solution there. Uh, like always, when we have two injured goalkeepers, we sign another one, and um, for the right back position, we have to have a look. But we will find a solution. Can you update us too on the latest COVID situation? Is there any new COVID at Southampton and is Che Adams available again for selection? Che Adams is available for selection and uh, no, no new cases so far. So uh, hopefully it stays like this. So no real sort of selection uh, nightmare for this game, but um, what are the selection issues for you for this game? Um, any other players available to you that weren't available for Swansea? Um, yeah, Sally is back uh, after his uh, suspension. This is a good thing. And uh, yeah, the rest, uh, as we have, uh, had a very tough game on, on Saturday with 120 minutes and I think nearly 90 minutes with one man down. It costs energy, definitely. But uh, we will find a squad that is able to compete on Tuesday night in front of our crowd. We, we will get the, the extra energy we need, I think. Yeah, I was going to ask, I mean, how much do you think uh, the Swansea effort is taken out of Southampton and how much is that going to be a factor in this game with Brentford? Yeah, instead of a, a better training session on Saturday, preparing for the game on Tuesday, we had a, a tough cup fight, uh, what we didn't want to have, but um, it was. it is how it is. Uh, we cannot uh, deny that it is an affecting on, 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 on the preparation for this game, um, but uh, I'm sure that... Um, until tomorrow evening, we are ready for uh, yeah for going again. 90 minutes. I think we are we are known for our intensive way of playing football, and <clears throat> we will not change it for 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 any reason. From a psychological point of view, how challenging is it challenging is it for the players? So many games are being postponed, and the impact it has on preparations. Yes, for everybody uh, a challenge. We have to be flexible. Uh, we with our game, uh, with our uh, training sessions plan, and 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 uh, um, especially the postponed game against Newcastle affected us massively because we were in the rhythm and could uh, give everybody a, a game to play. And now, uh, when you have a bigger squad, uh, then then you you have to yeah to find moments where you can everybody give a chance to play and. Um, I'm happy that we are still in the cup. This was important that we stay in this in this competition after this hard fight on, on Saturday, because it gives me new opportunities for other players also to get game time. That helps massively for for having a good atmosphere in the building and um, yeah, for getting the message to everybody that he is absolutely needed. Yeah. Uh, well done, Saturday. That was a slog for everybody. <laughs> hard work, um, but worth it for a good draw, Ralph. Coventry at home. Nice home draw for a change. Yeah, yeah good draw and good game. Uh, and as I said before, it's important that we stayed in this competition and, and had to have now another chance for yeah, giving also other players a chance to play. And this is, this is a, good, a good game for us, yes.